Hi, this is Mike Slattery, CTO of TechVox. I will be demonstrating a new type of classroom AV system called Tech Touch View. This new system uses a single podium touchscreen monitor for the computer, confidence, and control system, thereby freeing up space on the podium. There is also a Tech Touchpad for quick one touch operation on the podium. The Tech Touch View software allows for many types of room configurations, including single and multiple displays presentation, web conferencing, Cisco and Polycom video conferencing, lecture capture, audio conferencing, Blu-ray, Apple TV, and a separate podium that includes an HD based T presentation switcher. For demonstration, I will show a system that is configured with a term we call easy mode to simplify the startup operation. When you walk into the room, the screen displays the startup controls. While in easy mode, you can choose the operation of the room or go into view PC mode. View PC mode connects the touchscreen directly to the PC so you can use it for annotation or other touchscreen applications. To get back to control mode you have to press the control mode button on the tech touchpad. This demonstration is done using a VNC application to a remote system that is about 300 miles away. I am able to view and control the sources and remotely manage the system using software loaded on the Tech Touch View controller. There is also only one network drop to the system, and all the room IP devices are on that local network, not exposed to the campus network. To start, I will select Presentation Mode. This mode can be configured to start with the display on, or wait until a source is sent to the display. It can also be configured for preview or source selection. In preview mode, you have to press the send button to display the selected source, while in source selection mode, the selected source is sent directly to the display. This system is currently configured to turn on the display and source selection. As you can see, the display is currently on and there is no send button. At the bottom of the page, the mode of operation and the room name are displayed. From source selection, you can select user sources. Selecting the PC sends the PC to the display and the View PC button is shown. Press the View PC button and it displays a description of how to use View PC and how to get back to control mode. In presentation mode, only the podium mic and wireless mics are used. You can mute and unmute the wireless mics or mute all the mics using the mic volume mute at the bottom. There are two volume controls, one for room sources and the other for the room mics for speech reinforcement. You can drag or touch a level to set it. The speaker buttons below are the mute controls. In web conferencing mode, the system powers on the display with the PC shown and the instructor camera and microphones sent to the PC. Since web conferencing only uses the PC as a presentation source, the laptop sources are not shown. From preview selection, you can preview a source before sending to a destination. The instructor and student cameras display a control window for the selected camera. This window can be moved around the screen. To send the camera to the PC, press the send button and then press the PC VTC button. Although I am remotely operating the room from about 300 miles away, the delay in the video is not that bad and I can easily control the cameras. For audio control, the ceiling mics can be muted and unmuted, and the audio going to the PC can be muted and unmuted using the privacy button. The mic volume control only changes the room audio and does not affect the audio going to the PC with the codec shown on both the display and preview window. The VTC controls are also shown in the preview window. The instructor camera is sent to VTC people, the PC is sent to VTC content, and the microphone audio is sent to the codec. This mode allows all of the sources to be previewed and sent to a destination. Use the preview selection button to select a source and then the send button to select its destination. The codec has two destinations, one for people and the other for content. Use the people selection for camera video and the content for PC and laptop. 